we create scenarios that these firefighters respond to. Uh, actual car accidents, fire, uh, fires, barn fires. You're responding to an MVA. Uh, when you get on scene, you will need to res you will need to spot your apparatus in such a fashion that you will protect the scene, uh, the responders, the victims, and all that. You remember, we talked about uh, assuming an angular position Correct. when you approach the scene. Okay. Yeah, we try to teach them how the best way to drive: to calm down, slow down. Uh, we also teach that their emergency they're going to is not their emergency. You're going to help somebody. If we don't get there safely, how can we help them? So that's what we're trying to teach them. Uh, you're in the driver's seat. You have windows that go all the way around that you look out of and make sure you have to clear your intersections. I mean, it's just like a scenario of driving a fire truck to an actual car. It's pretty realistic. It's pretty realistic. I mean, the, the graphics look more like a video game, but as far as the steering-wise and how people react to you on this is very true to real life. So how'd you do I wrecked, uh, didn't clear one intersection, side swiped a Jeep pretty good, broke the front window out of my fire truck. We put it in for our 40 hour in service this year. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's a th 3D screen here, so it gives us all of our guys uh, a chance to actually get in and drive to see what kind of skills that they would need to work on and do. Uh, it was really hard to get this program because so many departments are wanting it. Uh, How did you hear about it? Uh, I went to the fire academy and seen it, okay. and then I just brought it back to our department to use for our, like I said, our in-service training. And, uh, they all it's like just, it. Oh, it's, it's been awesome. It's been awesome. We've had it here for three days, and it was a privilege. I hope to hope to get it here again. And that's K3 law. came about in 2006, where we, as emergency responders, have to res have two hours training per year. This is an eight-hour course that the academy puts on. She was a young lady who was killed in Chattanooga. And uh, by her death and all her, they went to the state legislature and, and they got a law passed that all emergency responders have to have training. That's a good thing. I'm talking to ambulance, uh, police, and fire. And if you look over here at this plaque, in 2014, uh, that Gus been died in responding to a structure fire. We made that plaque in honor of him. He was from Hardin County, Savannah, Tennessee. So we kind of point out, you know, a man that actually lost his life responding to an emergency. So it makes it real for these guys, you know. He's going, we're going to respond to a car accident. It's about a mile down the strip road here. We're going to talk about vehicle placement when he gets on the scene. What am I going to? Do? Straight down the road. What, what, what kind of call? Uh, car accident, NBA, with injuries. Okay. Check your that rear. You'll notice his head is always looking at the swivel, look at all the stuff we come out in front of him. Straight, straight. Normally we're here three days in a row because we have three shifts and we train the whole department. I just got through talking to the police chief. Uh, he's going to schedule us maybe in the near future to come and train their guys. We have scenarios that fit the police department, like pursuits and things like that, so they can uh, have real world situation they play. but if they make a mistake in there we can replay it show them what they missed mistakes were and hopefully they'll, they'll learn from that and not do it out here on the street we want to make sure they get there safely that's our objective is, is to slow them down change their attitude and, and arrive safely not only for their sake but the citizens on the street so that's basically it in a nutshell are y'all the last ones Okay. All right. The fire academy has only had this thing uh, for about a year and a half, so it's this is the first time it's been in Lawrenceburg. The fire academy. Yeah, the Tennessee State Fire School uh, over in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. They've had it for about a year and a half. It's the first time it's been in Lawrence County. Uh, we have all of our full-time personnel going through it for driver safety. Uh, well, I think it's also scheduled for the Lawrence County Ambulance Service sometime this month to come back for them. So. It's a, it's a requirement that every, every year we have a driver safety training program with Vanessa K. Furry uh, Act, and uh, this is going to be our this is part of our driver training program this year. How have you done in this? I haven't actually been in there yet. I, I'm up in the next few people to go in, so it'll be interesting. Watch out for Mario. Hey, he'll get you. <laughs>